welcome to Fulcrum of the Force. I'm Jim, and this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. And 2022, what a year it's been. Um, I just thought I'd I'd do a video of just like what's happened in the last year and what to expect from Fulcrum and the Force in 2023. It's 2022 has been nuts, has it not? Like this is the little channel that could. Uh, I can't remember what I started the year on subscriber-wise. I think it was somewhere around 300. And uh, we're literally just at 1,100 now, which is mad. Like, so, so super crazy. And I'm so thankful for everybody that subscribed, everybody that likes the videos, that comments, um, all the interactions I get. Everybody's just been lovely. And it's really nice. Like, we all know that sometimes the internet can be a bit of a dark place. Um, but you guys uh, interacting with me on the channel, it's been nothing but a joy. And just, I've really enjoyed doing this. I've really enjoyed, you know, doing new videos, more videos. Obviously, 2022, we, we stepped up the video game quite a lot with the amount of... We. Ugh. I'm not doing that again. Uh... I stepped up the video game because it's just me uh, quite a lot. Obviously, I did a bunch of reviews for Force Sabres over the past year, tons and tons. So uh, thanks to Ben for like reaching out to me and being like, hey, do you want to review our Sabres? Because, you know, I mean, obviously I was a customer before anyway. Um, but for him to reach out and go, I'd love if you could review more. I like I really appreciated that. And that, you know, that helped my channel sort of grow that also helped his business grow as well which was cool um and they've come on like leaps and bounds in a year which has been crazy and i like to think that i've been a little part of that maybe you know just a little bit just a little bit um but it's been awesome because i've always had like stuff to talk about and, and new sabers to review and new sabers to add to my personal collection um so it's been you know that's been immense uh, obviously I keep saying I want to do more Lego stuff and I do want to do more Lego stuff. Um, I, I'm trying to figure out like what's the best way that I can film Lego because it's all well and good me sitting here holding it, but you don't see it as well. So what I want to do is I want to kind of have a setup where I've got a camera that's a bit lower down, maybe something sort of here so that I can sort of show you all the bits and pieces on that camera. I'm going to, I'm going to try and sort that out for the new year. Um, just so that it's easier for me to do Lego reviews and show some of the other Lego stuff. I do also want to do a Lego tour of all of the Lego that I have. That's that's a big job. That's a big video. Um, I'm tempted to do it with like release prices and current prices as well, just to see how crazy Lego's gone in um, since I've been collecting, which has been about. Six, seven, no problem. I've I've been collecting Lego all my life, but serious Star Wars Lego collector, probably about six years. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see how how that's gone in that amount of time. Um, twenty twenty two. What else? Went to Galaxy's Edge. <sighs> I went to the place that all us Star Wars fans call Mecca, um, and with my girlfriend Cass, and it was just amazing. Obviously, that's another thing this year. Um, have a girlfriend she's the most supportive person on the planet and she keeps me going doing these videos when i'm not feeling it when i'm like Ugh. she's like no you can do it and um and i really appreciate that from her uh and it's really nice to share the star wars stuff with her as well she she loves star wars as much as i do and we get to just kind of sit and talk star wars and it kind of you, you always need someone that can keep your like energy up with those sorts of things and uh, and she does that fantastically. She's amazing. And to spend two two weeks with her at Galaxy's Edge was the absolute best. Um, there's a bunch of other people I do need to shout out. This video is going to be a bit here, there, and everywhere. I'm going to chop and change. Just stick with me. My brain. It just kind of. I don't write any of my videos. I don't like have a sort of anything in front of me to tell me what I'm supposed to be talking about. It, I just let my brain like. I just click it and go. Go on. And it's like. Bleh. Um, so I have a few other people that I want to, I want to thank. Um, obviously Nat, 
my sister from another mister, the real Jedi princess, um, meeting her in person at Galaxy's Edge with Cass, it was just, it was awesome. And uh, you know those people that you just click with, like, instantly, and then you, like, especially on the internet, you click with them on the internet, and you're like, oh, I'm not sure, yeah. But then in real life, you click with them exactly the same way, and you're like, you're one of the good ones. You're one of the ones that's going to be there forever. Um, Paul, the Island Jedi, me and Paul have become really, really close friends uh, since I met him, like, not even that long ago. Um, he's coming over in a couple of weeks, or actually over the Christmas and New Year's period, so we're going to hang out again. Hopefully do a video as well, do a video of us in the same room at the same time, so that'd be quite cool, because he needs to get back on his Star Wars stuff. He's been super busy with work, but his his lightsaber collection is beginning to rival mine, and uh, we need to see them sabers. Um, Elvis, the Brodalorian, like... Me, Paul, and Elvis, we, we have this kind of little close-lit group called the Brodalorians where we just, we're not feeling at our best. We'll sit and we'll jump on video chat and we'll sit and have a chat. We, we do keep meaning to do videos for YouTube and we'll get there, but it, it's, you know, it's like everything. Like, I'm busy with my channel, Elvis is busy with his channel. We've both got kids and lives and Paul's busy with his, like, with his business and stuff. It's just, it's, you know, it, life gets busy and you're like, we need to do this. And a month's gone past and you're like, we still need to do this. So that's that's how it is there. Um, obviously, Stony Stony Magnum, um, just absolute legend. Absolute legend from top to bottom. Like, I love him to bits. Uh, Izzy, Kashyyyk Customs, Izzy. Just, it's Izzy. It... <sighs> What's, what more could be said? Like, one of my closest friends and just a fun person to, like, chat to and to just... She's hilarious. Um, who else? Who else is there? I'm going to forget people. Ben from Force Sabres, obviously. Oh, I can't I mean I can't forget Sam's, can I? I can't forget Simon, Sam's nerd. Um, he's been instrumental to the channel over the past year. Like... Obviously, he's helped out by giving me shout outs and stuff that have really brought people to my channel, which I appreciate. But not just that, but just like being a really cool friend and just, you know, someone who's got a very successful YouTube channel. He, I'm always able to go, hey, man, do you think I should do this? And he's like, yeah, no, do this or maybe do that or don't do this. And I really appreciate that. And it's something that I do take on board. I think, you know, when there's someone out there that, that does clearly know what they're doing. And you ask them for advice, take that advice. You know what I mean? Like, listen to them because they know what they're doing. And, you know, and like, me and him have uh, built up this beautiful bromance where he constantly rings me when he's in the bar. It's a thing. I don't understand it, but it's, it's our thing. It's Jim and Sam's bar bath time. It's weird, but I love it. And, of course, Sheena, SJ Weathering. I mean, apart from the fact that her weathering work is just mint if you've seen the photos of my star killer you'll, you'll know her work is incredible i'm going to be doing a new review of that like a re-review i did a review of the star killer already but with it weathered by sheena ugh, it's it's an it's a different hill and her friendship just means the absolute world to me uh she's a wonderful person and our wife steph is amazing too and their kids are, are just absolutely adorable um she's just one of the best people in the world um hands down and uh proud to call her a friend um yeah she's just it's just been really really nice to get to know her and spend time on lives and stuff you know chatting to her and after lives and meeting her in person as well another person i've met actually in person it's 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 pretty crazy um but she's an absolute legend so yeah so those are a bunch of people that just over the past sort of year have just been instrumental to me really not just like for the channel but for my mental health um for for just me be it, just my friends you know what they're just these people are my friends and i class them as my really close friends and some people come in your life for a little bit and then disappear again and you see that you see that in this community quite often like you'll be like chatting to someone quite a lot and then all of a sudden you don't talk to them anymore because you know they're off doing their thing you're off doing your thing but there are some people that the minute you kind of you embed with 
in my bed, not in bed, in bed, in bed, where? With you kind of, you know that they're always going to be part part of your sort of your life and just your your friends, just your close friends. And um, th- this channel has been great for that, like bringing me to, to people that I wouldn't otherwise have met. And that's awesome. And it's been so much fun. I just, it, I've had more fun this year than I think I have in a very, very long time. Um, my mental health has been so much better. I still still take breaks. We, I think we all do. We all need mental health breaks and we all need to kind of just reset a little bit and come back like a time down the line. And it doesn't matter how long that, that takes. You, you need those times. But I've definitely found myself in a better place mentally this year. And that's there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, but another big reason is I started working at Padawan Outpost this year. Like, what? I now work for a lightsaber company. That's absolute madness. Like, a year ago, that that's not even on my radar, you know? A year ago, I'm like... I'm just doing this little Star Wars channel. I review a lightsaber every now and again. You know, I'm on live streams with these couple of people. It's all cool. And and now, arguably, I work for one of the best lightsaber companies in the UK, you know, and if not the world, um, with amazing people. Jazz and Dave are just like sort of the earth people. They're two of the kindest people I think I've ever met in my life. And... To work with them and to, uh, like we have fun. Like all we like, obviously we work hard. We work hard, like trying to get like all the orders done and and stuff out for people. But well, we have fun while doing it because at the end of the day, it's lightsabers. And if you can't have fun selling lightsabers, then there's there's no job in this world that you could have fun with, you know. And uh, and it's been it's been amazing. It's it's been fun. We just had our Christmas do the other day, and that was super fun. Uh, they got. And Jazz and they've got everybody um, presents, and this was mine. <laughs> they made us all into pop vinyls. I mean, how cool is that? It's absolutely mental. Like, and all the rest of them are on the back. Like the box says, "Jedi Jim." It's me. I've got my green lightsaber. I mean, ugh, that's the best present ever. It's. It's been a wonderful year. I there's no other word to say. It's been a wonderful year, and I'm really looking forward to what 2023's got to offer. Um, I've got a bunch of videos that I want to do, a bunch planned. Um, <clears throat> thing is, with with Padawan, I do get busy now. Like I'm not, I don't have the time that I used to to just do videos all the time. So I do have to try and plan everything out a little bit more. But that's okay. I think sometimes you know when you plan stuff out a bit more, you get better videos from it. Um, so I I do plan on still trying to get at least to a video out a week. Um, I was at a period of doing two a week. I'd love to be able to do two a week if I have the time. I will. Um, but I, I would definitely say I'm gonna I'm gonna strive to do one video a week at least. And I'd like to I mean subscribers wise we've hit eleven hundred, so I wouldn't mind like pushing for two thousand. Two thousand's cool in like maybe six months time. You know, that would be cool. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, but you know, that would be really, really cool. I hope that happens. Um, I've got a bunch of videos coming up that are collabs with people. That Those will be fun. Um, yeah, just a bunch of different stuff. I'm, I'm going to try and do a few different pieces. Obviously, the lightsaber reviews aren't going anywhere. I work at Padawan Outpost. I, I'm able to kind of... It's like working at the library, you know? <laughs> it's like, oh, let me take this home and, and have a look at it and review it and stuff. But I will always be honest. That's the one thing is just like, just because I work for them doesn't mean to say that I love every saber they have. You know, there are some sabers I'm like, "Mm, that's not as good as it should be. Because I'm quite a stickler for detail and some things when they're not right, like properly right, I'm like, "Mm." 
So I'm I'm always going to keep that sort of aspect to it where I'm like, is this a good lightsaber? Yes. Is it a bad lightsaber? It's probably not the best. It could be better in this way, this way, this way. So hopefully you'll understand that even though I work there, I'm still going to be totally honest. This is my channel. They've always been absolutely clear. Jim, that's your channel. You say what you want. If you don't think it's right, by all means, say it. Um, they're very supportive in um, in that, in my channel and stuff, which is awesome, you know, uh, because also then there's feedback there for them to feedback to LGT and for LGT to get better because, you know what, they are getting better. Like, by every time a new Sabre comes through, it's better than the time before. So so that's cool. That's exciting, seeing all that coming. Um, what have we got coming up? Obviously, this year we've got the Bad Batch Season 2. Now, uh, we all know how much I hate the Bad Batch, but I am going to be watching the Bad Batch Season 2 because it's Star Wars and I'm still going to watch it and Clone Wars Season 1 wasn't very good, um, but that became one of the best shows ever. So I am going to give it a try. And there's something else that might be happening around it, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Um, we've got uh, Ahsoka coming this year. Hmm, so excited for that. Like, that for me is on the top of my list of I can't wait. And we have Mando season three. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do reviews wise. Um, obviously, I did a trailer review of Jedi Fallen Order the other day. I might do trailer reviews if an Ahsoka trailer comes out. I'm definitely doing a review, like a, a reaction to that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the shows, whether or not there might be lives that I do or maybe like a end of season wrap up. I'm not sure. I haven't quite decided with for those bits yet, but definitely something's going to happen with them. Um just lots of stuff. Lots of lots more Star Wars stuff and um I'm looking forward to all of it. Yeah, I have another Galaxy's Edge video coming out about everything that I bought there. Um I've been meaning to do it, but I've just been so busy with work and then I went on holiday again. Because apparently that's what I do now. I just go on holiday all the time. Uh, I went to Norway, so that's kind of that cut into sort of my videoing time. Um, but we got plenty of stuff coming up. New stuff, collabs, new ideas, new things coming along. So make sure you do the whole like, share, subscribe. I don't know what it is. Bell, subscribe and like this video. Uh, comment down below what you want to see in 2023 if there's anything you're like oh Jim you should do this that's always helpful it's always helpful getting extra ideas from people about what you know what I can do next and like what you what you want to see more from the channel um but that's it for this video I hope you had a good 2022 and I hope your 2023 is even better um be safe be kind be the best just let's just be the best people we can be to everybody, shall we? It's not hard. Just just don't be a dick to other people. That's all we gotta do, and, and the world's just gonna be a much better place. So let's strive for that in 2023. But don't forget, we will always be one with the force. And the force is with us. <laughs> <laughs>